Well, raising the son was a big risk. Uh, not necessarily for me, it was for a lot of other people. And of course, I was putting a lot on the line. But uh, raising the son happened in a strange way. I, as a struggling actor, you meet many other struggling actors. And I do remember Sidney Poitier as an actor you meet making the rounds and when you're both quite broke. And I even recall sharing a hot dog with Sidney because neither one of us could afford uh, to have a whole one by yourself, my God. And Sidney did say at some point, because I had, uh, he had come to study for a while where I was teaching. I was teaching the poor man at his actor's workshop. I assisted him for quite a while and then began to teach with him and Sidney came and Sidney said to me one day, he said, uh, you know, if I ever do a major Broadway show, I'd want you to direct it. You know, that's something said in the middle of the night, you know, where, uh, which would have been over a beer if you could afford one. But uh, it's uh, one of those fantasy promises or an aspect of a dream. And uh, so it's some dreams come true. And I remember getting a call from Sydney saying, uh, which was at a time when Sydney had begun to make it. He was making films. The, the difference between Sydney and I was Sydney was six feet something tall, a thin, attractive, man. He could play leading roles. I was always a character man and had to accept the fact that my future was in the future, that I would probably get to do some of the roles that I had done in college when I got to be 62 years old or 70 years old or whatever, because you know, I was short. You know, I wouldn't say that I was unattractive. No one would say that. But, uh, I guess I had a certain amount of charm. But I was not, and there were no roles for young character black people at that time. You know? And so Sidney had gone ahead and made it, and I was teaching and doing what I could do to stay alive in the theater, because that's what I found. I had to stay alive in it. And that's why I went back to directing, and I did all the other things that I could do, as well as act, and act off-Broadway.